So here's the joke for today. You get two chickpeas and they're walking side by side in the middle of the road. Then one of them out of nowhere just stops and starts throwing up. And the other chickpea says, hey man, what's going on? Do you feel okay? The other one says, no, I feel awful. <laughs> I, I feel awful, feel awful, I feel awful. Come on, you got that. Don't act like you didn't get that, guys. That was funny. What up, guys, and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie meal prep recipe, we've got a plant strong one for you today, and even doubly good because it is Tex-Mex inspired. We are making some chickpea corn fritters, or patties, or whatever you want to call them. Just make these bad boys. We just had some here in the studio, and let me tell you, they are delicious. What I love about this recipe is that, first off, it takes a food that, may, that many people may not incorporate beyond just having some hummus, and turns it into this complete, beautiful, plant-strong meal. Unless you are a health enthusiast, I feel like the majority of people don't really experiment with chickpea or garbanzo outside of having it in a salad or some hummus. So today, I'm gonna show you how to take a really popular food and turn it into something flavorful. All right guys, if you are ready to roll up your sleeves for this plant strong recipe, then let's get started. You will need a food processor or a high powered blender. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in some canned chickpeas. These have already been drained. Add in some diced onion. And if you want a time saver, then you could just use some onion powder, some fresh garlic, and now let's add some personality. I've got some dried oregano here, mm, some fiery chili powder, some cumin, and then some smoked paprika. We're gonna add in some moisture by squeezing in some fresh lime. Then we're gonna pop the top, and then we're gonna pulse blend and just scrape down the sides of it, and then do it one more time just to get it nice and smooth. Perfect. And this part is really important because we want this part to act as the paste and the meat of our fritters. And then we're gonna add it to a bowl. All right, so now we're gonna add in some flour. This is some almond flour. I'm gonna go the gluten-free route, but if you wanna use some oat flour or some whole wheat flour, you can use that too. And this is a really important ingredient. And so I think it's necessary. Some people may like disagree, but this is arrowroot powder. Arrowroot is great for frying, but it's also great for binding, especially when you have eggless recipes. So we're gonna add in some arrowroot powder. Now we're gonna mix this together as well as possible because technically this is when we're adding in the egg. We don't want to overmix it because we want the fritters to be able to stay firm. So now we're going to add in some corn and a pop of color and some flavor with some colorful bell peppers. Add a pinch of sea salt and some pepper. And this is optional, but I'm going to add in a little bit of lime zest too. And now just mix everything together. So we're going to make about six to eight patties. So I want you to spray your hands with a little bit of oil. It just helps the rolling process to be that much easier. And just scoop out a nice amount. Not too big, but not too small either. Roll it into a ball, make it a little patty. Easy. Then repeat with the remaining batter. All right, so the patties are made. Now I get it, you're really hungry and you wanna pop these into the skillet, and you can. I like to put mine into the fridge for at least 20, 30 minutes or so, just to harden and just to solidify a little bit more just to mitigate the risk of them breaking up in the skillet because these are pretty fragile. Okay, so after about 20 minutes in the fridge, you're gonna fire up a nonstick skillet on medium high heat, add in a little bit of avocado oil, and probably a little bit more so than usual because you really wanna get a nice sear on the patties. Then, one by one, add the patties to the skillet. And then after about three to four minutes, flip them over and then cook these for another three to four minutes on each side. All right, and after about three minutes on the opposite side, you're gonna pick them up, you're gonna place it into a baking tray lined with some parchment paper or onto an air fryer basket, which is what I'm gonna be using. And then repeat with the remaining patties. Okay, now these are good to go right now. You can enjoy these, but I like to pop mine into the air fryer for about six to eight minutes or, or like into the oven, just to help to firm them up a little bit more and to crisp the outside of them. So I'm gonna spray them with a little bit more olive oil or some, or some avocado oil. Pop these into the air fryer 
for another six to eight minutes. All right, so these are good by themselves. You can enjoy these with a nice salad, but my favorite way to enjoy these is with some freshly mashed avocado. Yeah. You can put your, your own famous homemade guacamole or just some avocado puree will just do. And then finish it off with a little bit of cilantro drizzle. I'm gonna break off a double part of that patty. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a banger. It's a banger. You can eat this with a salad and be good to go and that could be your meal. If you wanna add some meat to this, you can too. But you gotta make it, see look at me. I'm still supposed to be tasting this and I've already eaten like two thirds of it. You wanna taste Jesse? I could be the cameraman. There you go. I'm gonna follow it up. Ooh, follow the bite. Kinda of like satisfies the taco. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. That's, it's a really good dish, y'all. <laughs> Seriously. It's actually pretty surprising because the only piece of chickpeas that I really like is just hummus. Like that's what I, but this part, it's not even, it's not dry at all. Mm. It's really moist, it's very flavorful. It's got the right amount of salt and seasoning in there. It's just, it, it just hits. Wow, Tastes the like clean taco. spoon. Tastes like a taco. Mm. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. So I did my own spin on a Tex-Mex inspired chickpea corn fritter slash patty. I want you to comment below how you would maybe change the flavor profile of this, whether you want to do something else, maybe that's Asian inspired or Mediterranean inspired. Share your ideas below so we can pick your brain and we could add variety to our diet as well. If you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified every time we post hot new food content like today. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I want you to keep it healthy, but of course, never, ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.